everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we're doing a requested video and that is showing you how I make my book covers to put into my reading journal. This has been really requested by a few people so I hope that this is helpful. Uh, I am going to be doing this only on Microsoft Word. I know you can use other platforms like Canva or uh, perhaps Google Documents but this is where I do it the most and so that's where I feel comfortable teaching you from and also because of that I'm on a PC not a Mac so you may need to learn the hot key that I use with a different key. Other than that let's get into it. So you need to save your photos. I either go to Google Images and grab from there or I like to go to Goodreads and go from my read books list, grab the book from there. So once that's saved onto my computer I'm good to go. You can also copy photos into Microsoft Word but for this I like to have them saved on my computer so I can access them at any time. Go into your Microsoft document. I have opened a new one here just to show you how I make my presets. So I already have my specific sizes that I like to have set each month. So I'm just going to show you how I do that now. I'm just going to grab one of the book covers for this month and you're going to right click and hit size and position. Now you can choose whatever size you want but like I said I have presets so I'm just going to show you how I set them up. So I'm going to use the specific sizes that I have. Uh, the covers that I end up using are very slightly different in sizing just because they're from an older sizing situation. It's like millimeters if anything. So as you can see I'm just going through and changing the height and that will change it to the size that I want. And I have four, I think four presets. I have my normal one that you see going onto the reading log, then the smaller one that goes into my monthly stats page. I have a larger one that I use for my Read the Rainbow and then a slightly smaller one that I use for my book club reads and that really serves me quite well. So as you can see what I'm doing is just using the right click um, panel going into size and position and changing them around. Now that I have my presets I'm going to show you how I do it myself. So now that they're all set this is really key. Um, it makes things go a lot faster for you and you don't have to change them book by book. So I'm going to go back into my saved file, find my July books because that's what I was wrapping up at this point and I'm going to add all of those covers into this document. And now I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom now that all the covers are there and hit that first preset, right click, go down to size and position. It's already set for the sizing that I want so I'm just going to hit OK because it thinks that I've resized it. And then you can hit the new cover and push control plus Y at the same time and it will repeat the previous action and this makes it go so much faster. I used to go through and size everything down one by one but now with this hotkey you can make it just do the previous action over and over and over until you have got all your books the same size. So this is really handy um, because you don't have to continuously type, you can just push control Y when you're on your new cover. So all the covers are going to get changed to this size now and once they're all smaller you'll see that the page goes flying up and I'm going to do another step before we move on. My printer likes to uh, print out in a different color than what I'm seeing on my resolution of my screen. This is something that I have um, seen through various testing. Um, it's always darker when it prints out so I like to get all my books into the order that I need them to be in. Uh, that makes it easier for me to film and put into my book without having to think about where they go. So once they're all ordered in the way that I read them and into the order that they're going to go into the book, I then go ahead and highlight one of the books. So we're going to start in that top corner we're going to right click again and go down to format picture. Then on the far right of that little format picture board you can then go in to brightness under the picture corrections and change it to 10 or 20%. I tend to go with 20% just because my printer prints out so dark. So here we're going through again. You can use that control Y hotkey. So once you've done it once you can just hit the book cover and it will change to whatever the previous action is. Such a handy tool and I use this in so many different ways when I'm in this uh, platform or program. So once all the covers have been changed 
you can see that there is some changes to the covers that are quite bright and it looks kind of worrying that they're not going to print out okay but I promise you they're going to have the right vividness and not look super pale like Emily Wilde does right there. <laughs> Once we've done that we're going to highlight them all and we're going to copy them and paste them in again. Again this is only for me I don't know what you will like to do with your book covers but for me this is how I like to do it every single month so I'm just showing you through what I tend on, to tend to do. So I am going to go in this time round and use that smaller book preset and again same thing we're going to go back to the book covers push control Y and they're all going to become really tiny. So these tiny books I use in my little collage portion of my monthly stats page in my reading data journal. I like to have the covers there um, just to show what books I read that month as a quick visual on that page and it also fills in the tiny bit of white space on the page that I don't use up for the stats because I've already written them all down. So again once these are all sized down there is only one other size that I will be using in this video and annoyingly in the original clip of filming this I didn't do the right preset so I am going to show you how I do it correctly this time round. I'm going to grab the undercutting of Rosie and Adam because that was a book that I'm going to put in my Read the Rainbow for Orange and I'm going to copy it and paste it down and then we're going to use the same preset that I just highlighted, that really large book and same thing, size and position, hit OK and then we're going to hit Control Y and we're good to go. One other thing I want to show you before we go into the printing set settings is if you go into layer and then hit margins, I've already got it set on this but if you go down to custom margins and change it to 0.5 on each of them you can use as much of your sticker paper as possible uh, because sticker paper is so expensive. If you're going to print this out on just normal paper you don't have to go like that if you don't want to but for me using up as much of that sticker paper as possible is key. So once we've got that all sorted we're happy to print out. I'm now going to go into control P um, and that will take us to the printing screen. I don't just print from here I go into printing printer settings um, and then you get this pop-up that comes up uh, printer properties sorry and I like to hit high quality when I'm using sticker paper. It makes the print crisper and uh, it's worth it. With the backing on the printer paper you can afford to use a bit more ink. If you're just using standard paper and you're going to stick it in with some double sided tape or something like that, uh, I do recommend just doing standard printing. Uh, it can get quite ink heavy. As you can see there was a bit of an error when I printed it out. Uh, so. I ended up reprinting the first five books down the bottom of the page. I do try to pr print as much as possible on my printer paper to sort of not waste a single drop um, and then I just cut it out. Some people like to cut the books out individually and have them like in a container so they can use them as they go. This works really well for people who do review posts in their books, a journal sorry, or if they have a designed TBR that they want to stick to and they know what they're doing. For me because I am filming a lot of my footage that goes into my journal, it's always filmed, um, I like to have it all in the line knowing where it's going to go. Like I said at the start of the video, very streamlined and makes it a lot easier to get to this final product which we're looking at right now which is sticking those covers in to the journal. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial I hope that it has been helpful and is instructional enough and straightforward enough that you can learn from it. If you have any questions please leave them in the description below and like I said I will have a step by step guide in the description so you don't have to follow along with this video if it's long or over winded. And if you have a cutting machine like a Cricut and you want to learn how to make these format stickers that I also use each month I will be having a tutorial hopefully soon on the channel for you to enjoy but until we next meet I hope you have fun reading or journaling and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye everyone.